I'm here on a lovely, uh, it's like a rather nasty evening outside, so I thought I'd treat myself to another beer, but one I haven't had this time. Never even heard of it before this book, actually. Um, it wasn't too hard to find. Uh, it is from Belgium, so presumably it'll be good, maybe. I've had some bad Belgian beer so far. Uh, first brewed in 1982, 7.5%, but luckily I've only got a small bottle of it, so it shouldn't be too bad, and it is Corsendonk Agnus Triple, which is, you know, an interesting name. So um, let's talk about the design. Uh, there's not actually a label on this, it's actually uh, printed directly onto the glass. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's an Abbey beer, so that's kind of, you've got this kind of ecclesiastical um, motif there, and this kind of a, this, this typeface. Um, I don't know where in Belgium it's actually from. Uh, oh, they're not actually, they're an Abbey beer, but it's not actually linked to a religious institution. They're contract brewed. Oh, okay. It's a monastic style beer. Corson Donk was an Augustine Priory. Okay, interesting. Uh, uh, tasting notes. A classic hazy blonde colour with a fine white head and spicy coriander and cream tinged aroma. A thick citric palette with a hint of cloves. A creamy but tart and quite hoppy finish. That, that is just a real mixed bag of a, of a description. I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Well, this is the first one I've done for quite some time where I have no idea what it's going to be like. Uh, there's nothing to read off the bottle because it's all in Belgian, Flemish maybe. So, give this a go. Uh, nice detailing there on the bottle cap. Right. Okay, so it's not, not a dark beer, that's good. Here's bottle of condition, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I can see the stuff in it. Right, good amount of head on that. Um, that's a bench here, two finger head. Uh, let's go for the smell, shall we? Doesn't smell of a whole lot, it smells a bit lagery actually. It's interesting. Oh, cheers. Oh, okay. That does not taste like 7.5%. It's nice. It's really refreshing. Let's, let's, let's break down the uh, the note, the, what it says. So, so classic hazy blonde colour. Yeah, absolutely is that. Put that there. Um, fine white hair. It's quite thick, actually. Uh, although it's not voluminous. Spicy coriander and cream tinted aroma. I didn't get that at all. Uh, thick citric palette and a hint of cloves. Let's try that. Okay, I'm getting a bit more of that now. Um, definitely, I'm getting the citrus kind of, and it is a little bit tart, but it's not a sour beer. Um, oh, that's quite pleasant. Um, um, well, I've got dinner on the go at the moment, so this is going to be a lovely beer to go along with my dinner. Um, hints of cloves, maybe a little bit, but not in a way like it doesn't taste of Christmas. So, um, oh, it's very gassy. Oh dear, um, creamy but tart and quite happy finish. I don't see it. It's not. It's not really creamy. It's not really. It's kind of hoppy. Has got hops on the aftertaste, um, not at all malty. Almost like um, a hint of kind of honey and the kind of the sweetness there as you sort of rolls off the tongue um, towards the end of your mouth um, when you finish your, your gulp. Um, that is lovely, actually. Uh, well, if I, if I find this, I mean, I wouldn't say it was remarkable. I wouldn't actively seek this out again, but if I, if I saw it as one I recognise in a Belgian beer bar, might have it. It's pretty pleasant. Um, not much else to it really. I mean, it's, it's, it tastes like a European style beer, uh, but I mean, does dangerous because you could quaff this on a hot summer's day. This would be beautiful, very refreshing. But seven point five percent, you'd have to be very very careful how much you had. Um, otherwise, it would go a bit wrong. So that is the uh, Agnes. 
no, the Course and Donk Agnes Triple. It's a triple beer, Abbey style, monastic style. Um, just another quick look at the bottle there. Um, yeah, very good. Passes my litmus, litmus test. I'd rather have this over um, Green King I'd pay in Doom Bar. I would love to have this in the summer. Maybe it's not a winter beer, really. Um, yeah, really good. Um, give it a go. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you for next review soon. Bye.